Remgro invests in financial services, healthcare, food, liquor, shipping and other sectors. And of course this is Stellenbosch headquartered and came out of the reorganization of the Rembrandt Richmond Group. 2008 was when this entity came to the market. And Wayne can tell us what the core assets are. In Market a cap, 114.8 billion rand, a P.E. ratio of 16.7, dividend yield of 2.2%. Wayne? Yeah, look, quite diversified, but there's effectively two things. First rand and Mediclinic. <laughs> I mean, they've got, they've got yeah, that's Rainbow, Rainbow Chickens Limited, RCL. They've got Unilever. They've got a couple of other industrials. They've got... But there's the two it's first rand and, first rand and mediclinic and mediclinic broadly more speaking financial services interests and healthcare and healthcare yes. is all in mediclinic but mediclinic, but mediclinic has a bit more suffered yeah. in recent times as we well yeah. know mm. correct and of course the one that they own has maybe suffered more than the other ones so at the end of the day you make a call on rembrandt on what you think is going to happen to mediclinic now rembrandt you can't really value them on earnings. You've got to value they are a, a proper, true investment holding company. And they wrote down their net asset value by some 15 or 20 percent because of the share price fall in Mediclinic. I mean, Mediclinic was down 30 odd percent. Well, this is a fair question for us because mm. we hold Mediclinic. Indeed. And uh, our remember, fortunes did the are tied very much to that stock. And got itself listed in London. Yes. So now you have to say, well, there's that, there's currency effects. Mediclinic is sailing along. They did another deal in Switzerland. They've got yes, that happening. The Middle East looks look, up and down. Locals okay. Look, let's divide Mediclinic into three areas. South Africa, under pressure, margins under pressure, tremendous scrutiny by the discoveries and the government employee medical schemes. All the medical schemes are, are, are analyzing their costs to the 20th degree. Governments interfering in healthcare providers in general. Mm -hmm. So that, and that's not going to fall down and the economy is not growing. So th South Africa, let's just say boring to maybe slightly negative. Uh, Switzerland, now that they've got this, uh, what are they going to do, a tariff or something? It, yes. was, it was a proposed tariff by the government. Now that's out of the way. Switzerland's actually doing so quite well. So you think well. that's quite robust in, yes. in the medical Switzerland's stable. doing quite well. But then the big swing here is Abu Dhabi Al Noor. They bought this company, paid a lot for it. Half the doctors walked out because they changed the business model, and now they're trying to get the doctors back. Plus, they had a deal for a while where people had to co-pay for yep. their own expenses. Then they retracted. But the co-payments at least finished now. The, the, so the crown prince no, at least cancelled that I'm just that one. interested that we, and, and as we've said, that their fortunes are very much reliant on what happens to, to Mediclinic Correct. and mm. to First Rand. But mm. isn't this a risk in itself that you're talking about what should be a diversified yeah, the holding company, now, they and yet are it boils down to they, two they, stocks. They, they, they relatively undiversified. This they got the two big lumps. Well, if you add all of the food stuff, all of the RCL, all of the Unilever, all of the other bits and pieces that they've got, you do get to about 20% earnings contribution. So it's not terrible. Then there are things like Grindrod and Seacom Ooh, Cable dear. and all sorts of others. Grindrod is not And the financial uh, services so well. assets. I mean, those are not bad. There's no, no, strong no, no. profitability first, coming through. First you take first rand, RM, RMI. All of this, I mean, these things are at, are at 9, 10, 11 PEs. They, they're cheap and the earnings yeah. will be there. Yeah. But the swing factor, once again, is Mediclinic. Can Al Noor, the hospital group, get back the referring doctors? Do you believe it can? Yes. You, you, yes. yes, you do. I do. Yes, but I, I want to ask uh, Wayne another question is, do you think the management team, which is essentially uh, Johan Rupert when he applies his minds Correct. to this, plus Johnny Durant and his immediate advisors in the Stellenbosch HQ, mm. do you expect any significant shifts in the portfolio in the near no. term? No. They're they, just going to carry think on? They, I think they're going to sit and wait mm. until Mediclinic releases value. But and I mean, uh, how, how long could that take? How long is a piece well, of string? It's taken a bit longer <laughs> than what everyone thought yeah. so far. They, in Look, fact, helped the purchase of Spire Medical yes. Health, which yeah, we talked forgot, about in the UK. Forgot about the UK. So they yes. clearly are right, right yeah. on board they, with the, the UK, make The UK is not bad. And in fact, I think the UK could be a very big growth market for healthcare. Mm -hmm. so, so I think I think the Spire will actually be quite good for them. So the but point it's still that, that Paul's making is that you're betting on this management team. It is uh, the same strategy you're going to see. Yeah, There's going to be no on, change. You're betting on the Mediclinic management team. On the Mediclinic management. Are you really going to pull it down to, yes. to the Mediclinic yeah. management team? Yes. Hot yes. or not? Hot, yes. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll do it. Hot or not? Yeah, I'm happy to be there. And, um, and I think if you were going away on that 15-year trip that I mentioned earlier, you could do worse than put all of your savings into 
the Remgro team and wait and see where it is when you come back. It's a hell of a long trip. You know, you're going bring around back. the world a few times. Yeah, yeah a I couple think. of times. I hope you're going to take you 15 Maybe you're going years on the to get Mars once around mission. the world. <laughs> you're not even sure if you're ever coming back. I tell you what, let's, let's make it a, a seven-year trip. <laughs>